Okay, Quad Nines here with the EDH Deck Tech. Um, got my Edric Spy Master of Trust. Uh, it's very similar to the one that uh, MTG McQuacks put up. There's a few little twists in here, some cards that I have that he doesn't, and you know I picked up a couple from him that I'd forgotten about. But anyway, uh, it's a lot of fun. One-on-one, um, -on -one, it's actually really tough to beat. Um, I mean, there's a couple of the generals like Rafik that can do it. Uh, Certainly there's a few other, like a really fast Kalia deck can give it a very hard game. But in general, it's a pretty strong deck. It's not the super broken uh, infinite one drops, counters, and time walk effects. But uh, it's, it's more of a tribal, but it's still very, very fast. So uh, starting, of course, we've got the, uh, the commander here, Edric. Um, got 12 forest, 5 islands, uh, as the rest of the lands. Uh, breeding pool, Hinterland Harbor. And Temple of Mystery round out my dual tapping lands. Um, got a Gaius Cradle here, which is usually taps for a lot. Um, Command Tower, uh, a little bit more fixing. Same with Opal Palace. Uh, Cavern of Souls actually names Beast more often than not, uh, just because you know my elves usually if they want to counter one elf, it's usually okay. But if I ever want to go for Crater Hoof, this gets it through. Uh, Okina Temple to the Grandfathers. Uh, there's more than one legendary creature. Probably like eight, I guess. So just the random uh, plus one sometimes saves it from removal. Sometimes it gives it a little extra damage or combat trick. Uh, Treetop Village for a man land. Mistress Factory for one more. A little land destruction. Got Wasteland. Tech Edge. Uh, Alchemist Refuge is really strong. Uh, letting you able to flash stuff in end of turn. Um, you know, just anytime you use your mana on their turn, it's a lot better. Wirewood Lodge, been untapped like a Priest of Titania. Uh, or Elvis Archdrude, very strong. Uh, Tower of the Magistrate, uh, it does, this deck is really cold to like pro green swords. So being able to make it fall off the guy they're attacking with is very strong. Uh, Gemstone Caverns, really good on like when you're on the draw because it gives you extra land drop. But, uh, you know. Otherwise, it's just Tasricola, so it's, it's still good. Reliquary Tower, you're drawing a lot of cards. So if you don't want to discard, you definitely want that. Uh, Worldly Tutor. You know, anytime you can search up that one combo piece or just one creature you need is really, really nice. Uh, Intruder Alarm, you can really combo off. This also keeps uh, some decks from being able to untap and attack with their creatures. You can just wait if they're kind of stuck. Um, so... Elvish Guidance is Priest of Titania on a land, and it's for all elves in play, not just yours. Uh, Beastmaster Ascension, a little combo with a card I'll talk about in a little bit, but uh, when you get seven counters, all your creatures get plus five, plus five. Uh, Beast Within is some of the only green removal, some of the best as well. Uh, Elvish Promenade, just kind of stuck in here because it's, it's shiny, and it usually makes four plus elves for four mana, so... Uh, Plasm Capture, uh, Mana Drain uh, for two more green, but you get to make the mana whatever color you want. And most people don't really play around it. I don't run many counters. I only run like two, uh, and that's one of the better ones. So Sky Shroud Claim, Natural Order can definitely go get you a combo piece if you need it. I have played Pattern Rebirth on a creature with a bonus, uh, and then like what, Sack It uh, for Natural Order. And middle would like to really combo off there. Opposition is probably the least fair card in the deck. Uh, if I get to resolve this with any elves in play, we we'll usually finish playing Magic. Uh, Urban Evolution, uh, it's kind of expensive and you don't really need the card draw as much in this deck, but occasionally after Wrath, this will get you going. Uh, draw your little card and it's shiny and I got it from my loan of trade. So throw it in here, I really like the card. Uh, asceticism, uh, given all my stuff. Hexproof, or is it? No, I'm sorry. Yeah, Hexproof, basically. And being regenerate them is great. Uh, saves you from those board wipes. Force of Will, uh, sometimes it's free, but I don't have a ton of blue spells in the deck. Sometimes I just cast it for five. But having the option of it being free really helps. Uh, Notorious Throng, I've got in the sixth slot because you want to cast it for its prowl cost. Uh, this does combo, like I said, with the Beastmaster of Ascension. Beastmaster of Ascension early on. Uh, basically, you swing in there with, you know, Edric, a couple more creatures, get at least five or six damage in. Uh, then you cast this, 
Edric is a rogue, so he triggers the prowl cost. Uh, you get, you know, five plus fairy tokens. Um, you take an extra turn. On that turn, you play Beastmaster Ascension before combat. Attack with everything. The Ascension will trigger, and they all get plus five, plus five. So since you're usually attacking with at least five flyers, and there are six sixes, uh, usually ends the game. Uh, summoning Trap, really good. Most of the time you're just casting it for six. Occasionally you'll get it for free and hit like an Eldrazi or something, which is just bonus. Tooth and Nail, usually getting a Crater Hoof and X creature, whatever you need. Uh, Green Sun Zenith, uh, just good selection. Uh, sometimes you need to get that one of in your toolbox and that'll do it. I've cast Ridiculous Genesis Waves in this deck, so usually you can just hit every single card that you get because there's not a lot of instants and sorceries, so most of the time they just go into play. Uh, Nissa Ravane, if there's ever a deck that she's good in, this is it. Uh, Garrett Wildspeaker, untapping like a guy's cradle, seems pretty good, and also occasionally just getting the overrun wins games. Uh, Garrett Collar of Beast, getting that leads the Stampede plus one. Uh, with the occasional put something into play is great. Of course, the uh, the ultimate is pretty non-existent, but you don't play it for that. On to the creatures, we got Heritage Druid and its combo counterpart, Nettle Sentinel, being able to untap it every time you play a green spell and tap for more mana. Uh, Jiraga Warcaller, this is the Japanese promo, but uh, all your elves get plus one for each plus one counter he gets with the multi-kicker, so can make your guys really big. Lanor Elves for Mana Dork, same with Elvish Mystic, Harbor Elf, Finhorn Elves, and to an extent Virtual Rangers. You need one more Elf to make mana, but that's usually not a problem. Quirin Ranger uh, helps you untap you know, mana producing Elves, as well as uh, return a forest to your hand if you need to make a land drop, but you're out, you can just tap it for mana, return it, and then replay it. Sky Shroud Ranger also it, you can make a land drop extra turn if you have the land in hand. Taunting Elf is just a hilarious card, making them block him while he's swinging for lethal with everybody else. Also, he can get big uh, with some of your two, I mean, uh, Anthem effects and Lords. So sometimes he just makes them chump block. Warwood Symbiote, Honorary Elf, does a lot of things you need. Saves one important Elf from Wrath, also can untap like Priest of Titania, which Sick mana producer between uh, Priest Titania and Raphelos. If you get either of these out on turn two, you're going to make all the mana you need. Uh, Elder Rami, uh, a Lord effect, uh, doesn't give them plus one, but it gives them all Shroud and Forest Walk. Fauna Shaman is just a uh, tutor for elves or any creature really. Uh, you know, dis having to discard is not a big deal usually. Elvis Visionary, uh, it's not one of the stronger ones, but getting to draw a card every time off of it is great, and that with Wirewood Symbiote, you can get the combo going, just keep drawing cards. Uh, well Wisher, uh, against aggro decks is very important, you can gain more life usually than they can put out. Uh, Wirewood Hive Master is really important for your Crater Hoof, because you can get a few extra creatures in play, cast Crater Hoof as early as turn 4, and win, so... Uh, Bramble of Paragon uh, gives plus one plus one counters to warriors, and each creature with a plus one plus one counter has trample, which is important. Secret of Skybreak can once again untap target creature. It might not be yours. If for some reason you want to untap theirs, like if they had a phantasmal image, you could target it. But usually you're just untapping your mana guys. Uh, Zamet Guild Mage gives plus one plus one counters if you activate it. Uh, you can draw cards off of it later, but like it is, goes well with the. Uh, Bramble and Paragon for Trample. Elvis Archdruid is a Lord that taps for a lot of mana. Elvis Champion is a Lord that gives Forest Walk. Azuri is kind of a Lord. It uh, regenerates him and can give an overrun effect to all your elves. So it's very good win condition there. What else just fixes your mana? It ramps you. Uh, usually it goes and gets um, Tropical Island. Uh, Far Haven Elf usually gets an Island. So you can have that blue mana when you need it. Sky Shroud Poacher is my other really good tutor. Repeatable. Uh, it actually puts it into play, so it's really awesome. And I just got a full one, so all the better. Wirewood Channeler is basically the same as Priest Titania for more mana. It's a four mana 2 2. Orc of Moldai gives you that ramp. Happens to be an elf, so it's just bonus and getting to play lands off the top of your library. And extra land is great. Uh, Immaculate Magistrate makes the combat a nightmare because you can pump whichever one they block, or if they don't block, and it's lethal. 
uh, list line of Huntmaster just gives you a ton of elves uh, every time you play an elf spell. Not just a creature, but an elf spell. Uh, Elvish Piper is a quick separate amulet on an elf for just one single green, so they usually kill it on the spot if they can. Otherwise, you can put one of these fatties into play for, for just one mana. Chameleon Colossus, also an elf. Pro Black. Uh, we got Master Biomancer, which makes all your guys huge. Guilt Leaf Arch Druid. Uh, I do have a lot of druids in the deck, so I have taken everybody's lands before. Acidic Slime is just that uh, one of toolbox cards uh, in case I gotta blow up something troublesome. Prophet of Crufex, everybody knows how great this card is. Untapping and playing stuff on their turns is awesome. Progenitor Mimic, a lot of times I just copy my Crater Hoof. You know, get to it one turn for the great wins. Uh, Kamal is overrun on a guy. Also can make your lands into creatures and give them overrun. Crater of Behemoth is your go-to for your win condition. Uh, if you resolve this, you usually win. Uh, Kozlik for Eldrazi and Ulamog. So that's all of the cards. Uh, it's like I said, it's a fair Edric deck if there is such a thing, but uh, it is a lot, very powerful, a lot of fun to play, pretty fast. So if you like it, just let me know down below. I know there's some cards that some people play that I don't, but if you have any suggestions, uh, just put them in the comments below. If you saw anything you liked that you haven't seen before, let me know that too. Thanks for watching.